Tonight, Help Me Hank is coming to the rescue of a man stuck with a massive water bill. Uh, Hank ended up talking with him Friday at his meetup that happened at the M1 Grill in Pontiac. Let's bring in our consumer investigator, Hank Winchester, live with more on this story. Uh, Hank, why don't you take us through what happened? I mean, we had a great meetup on Friday in Pontiac, and this is one of the individuals I met that day. He needed help. There was a big, outstanding water bill issue. So we made our way here to DWSD to figure out exactly what was going on and put the pieces of this puzzle together once and for all. My wife died, then the next week my mother died. The last few years, they've been tough for Mr. Singleton, and now he's dealing with a financial problem that he just can't figure out. A bill from DWSD, more than six grand, but it's all tied to a home in Detroit that he hasn't lived in since his wife died in 2020. I have not stayed here, and I turned the water off. Uh, from the inside. Yet you have this gigantic bill. And the bill is up to $6,000 now. I met Mr. Singleton at my Help Me Hank meetup in Pontiac. He was really upset because the bill is so high and he says he hasn't used any water in years. In fact, he had a third party company at the property to make sure there were no leaks, no problems, no issues. Yet the bill continued to grow. How frustrating has this been for you? For four years it's been frustrating and Anxiety's building up. I got in touch with DWSD, and I know the city has been working with him trying to figure this out. It's been a mystery for many, but what we know for sure is that the water is no longer flowing into the home, and DWSD has been working to make this right, and now going a step further. They're going to be working with Mr. Singleton to help resolve this bill matter once and for all, and for that, we are thankful. We will continue to work with Mr. Singleton. I mean, he, he served the city. Um, you know, he's lost loved ones during the pandemic. And we're here, we're here to help, and that's why we continue to meet with him, and we will continue to work with him. Retired DPD, and he's certainly been through a lot, as you heard, during the last few years. So what they're doing is this week meeting once again to go through all the steps to figure out exactly what is causing that water issue. But DWSD, on top of it, we know that he will not be paying that $6,000 bill. And again, a big thanks to DWSD for helping us today help resolve this issue. We're live here tonight downtown. Devin Kimberly, back to you. Hank, you made another lunch stop earlier today as well. I, I did, Devin. I can't get enough of the lunches. I love it. We had a great uh, meetup today. We were in New Baltimore. We made our way to the Pit Stop Diner right there on 23 Mile Road, right in the heart of town. We had a big crowd today, a lot of people bringing us consumer ideas, uh, story tips. And guess what? Even my fifth grade teacher stopped by. I couldn't believe it. And thankfully, she had some fond memories. <laughs> I was a little worried. <laughs> so it was a great day. And we thank everybody for coming out today in New Baltimore. Well, and whatever her problem is, you better help solve That's that right. one, right? We should do a whole segment on what, it was, what you were like in fifth grade. Yeah. We'd like to see that, too, as a story. Yeah. All right, Hank, good stuff.